In America, whenever someone decides to buy a new car, the very first thing they check on YouTube is crash test videos. But here's the surprising part. Whether it's a BMW or a Toyota Fortuner, after a crash, both cars look completely destroyed. Airbags deploy in both. The front gets crushed in both. So how do you actually know which one is safer? Because visually, both look total. The real difference isn't in how the car looks after the crash. It's what happens to you inside the cabin. Crash test engineers don't just look at body damage. They study energy dissipation. When a car hits a wall, 100% of its kinetic energy has to go somewhere. And the question is, did the car absorb that energy, or did that energy reach the driver? If the metal frame absorbs it, the driver stays safe. But if the energy pushes into the cabin, even with airbags, the body takes the hit. This is why German cars like BMW and Mercedes follow a triple zone philosophy. The front and rear are intentionally made weaker so they fold and absorb energy, keeping shockwaves away from the driver. Crash testing agencies like Global NCAP and Euro NCAP use sensor-loaded dummies that measure force on the head, neck, chest, and legs. Those numbers decide the star rating, not how destroyed the car looks. So when a Fortuner and a BMW hit the barrier, the dummy survives in both. But the dummy inside the BMW records much lower force, because BMW absorbs impact better with smarter metal engineering. That's the difference between expensive metal and intelligent metal. So now tell me, which car would you trust with your life? Okay, now tell me this. If your life was inside that car, which one are you trusting? Are the Fortuner or the BMW? Be honest, drop your pick in the comments. And hey, if you learned something new today, hit like right now and subscribe for more insane car breakdowns.